Hello students, welcome to our science class. This is our first class and today we are going to look at Unit 1 Scientific Skills. Today we are going to do some activities on observing and classifying. I hope you are ready with your textbook for today's lesson. First, let's look at observing. You have learned about observing since your level 1. Okay? Observing is a skill that uses all of our senses to obtain information about an object or a phenomenon. Okay class, what are the five senses that we have? Yes, correct. Taste, hearing, sight, smell and touch. Okay, so let's look at the example given in your textbook. You were given two models here, uh, bridge models, model A and model B. Okay class, how you will determine which is stronger? Yes, the bridge that takes more time to collapse is stronger. So, model B is stronger than model A. So, here you are doing observation to identify which model is stronger. Let's look at classifying. Classifying is identifying the similarities and differences of objects. You know, right? What is similarities and differences? Similarities is common characteristic and differences is what are the different characteristics among the objects. Okay, let's look at the simple example here. So there are many objects here and you can classify the objects into three groups according to the colors like blue things, red things and the green things. So this is classifying. Okay class, now you can look at textbook page 2. They explained about observing and classifying. This is a situation given here from a housing area. Okay. So the girl said that I have been observing the rubbish for some time. It increases each day. Okay. So the number of rubbish increasing every day. So the girl observing the rubbish. And the boy said that the smell is unpleasant too. The smell. So he used the sense of smell to observe the surrounding. Okay, next they are discussing ways to dispose of rubbish. How we are going to dispose the rubbish? Yes, we can recycling. Okay, we can do recycling. Recycling. Okay, so let's look at what they are discussing. What can we do with the rubbish? What if we recycle it? Good idea. First, we need to sort the rubbish according to its type. Okay class, what is sort? Sort means, yes, classify. You need to classify the rubbish, then you can do the recycling. So, the girl collect the paper items, the boy collect the glass items, and another boy collect the metal item such as cans, and you can give the plastic bottles to me. Okay, this boy collecting the plastic bottles. So, you can see how they classify the rubbish before they do recycling. Okay, class. I hope you are clear with observing and classifying. And let's answer some questions for today's lesson. Okay, you can look at the worksheet Okay class, this is the lesson for today, the activity for today. Okay, for the first question is, you are given four types of animals here. So, A, state one common characteristic among the animals. So, you can observe the animal and identify the common characteristic here. Okay, then for the B, is the activity for classification okay what you're going to do is you're going to 
classify the four animals into two groups. So you need to find the two characteristics, then you can classify the animals. Okay, the first characteristic is given here, the feelers has feelers. So one of the animal here has feelers, one is butterfly, so you can find the second animal. And for this one, you are given the pigeon, the example. So you need to find the characteristic. Okay, for the third question, state one common characteristic of the duck and pigeon other than B1. So other than this characteristic, state another common characteristic between the duck and the pigeon. Okay, class, that's all for today. I hope. You are clear with what is observing and classifying and you can complete your exercise. So please complete your exercise and send the capture to your teacher. Thank you so much. See you in next lesson class. Bye.